Keeping time with the playhead is great, but it only goes in one direction. What do you have to do when you want to figure out any amount of time before the last frame? Three-way timer tracks time in seconds, forward, in reverse or the amount of time until the end of the clip. And there is also a feature where a new starting point and length of a selection is also tracked, allowing you to work with a smaller range within a clip. Three-way timer works accurately in all whole frame rates in Final Cut Pro. Fractional frame rates are not supported, but the difference is small enough to be negligible. When using three-way timer, if you need the playhead time to the end of the clip, you will need to enter the length of the clip in the three-way timer inspector. Clip length parameter, this is easy to do and uses the same shortcuts you would use in the playhead indicator of the viewer. Then, set the time base of your project, or use the nearest whole number to your project if using fractional frame rates. The selection timer, the middle number set, is always 0.00, .00 until there is a selection length. Selection length is in decimal seconds, but until you calculate the length you need, simply slide it up all the way. Use the playhead to position where you want your timing selection to start and type in the value you see from the three-way left timer. Move the playhead to where you want the selection to end, and type the value you see for the selection clock as the selection length value. Simple. The selection clock has an active state that is only displayed when the playhead is between its start and end times. Use the optional text field to add a notation about this timing event. All the rest of the parameters are appearance options. All parameters can be preset to whatever initial values you like, then saved as an effect preset to make a customized version for subsequent use. Three-way timer is available from fcpxtemplates.com.